Hey there people, it's Danny from Conscious Catacynics here. So I'm going to show you what I get up to in a day and what I'm also going to be eating on my intermittent fasting vegan diet, which I normally eat around two meals a day. It's a 16 8 intermittent fasting diet. Yes, I used to eat one meal a day, but I haven't been doing that for a while. A lot of you know that I used to eat that way. But yeah, I am on the way that I'm eating with this intermittent fasting diet at the moment to help me gain more muscle mass, which I've been doing for a while. So I'm going to eat in a very, very short while. I'm going to make a smoothie, almost 17 hours into fasting always track it with the fasting app called my fast so that's why i know and i'm not sure what i'm gonna eat for the rest of the day but from today i've decided to start eating only food pretty much at home because i've been eating quite a bit of junk food recently too much too consistently and it started to not make me feel that good so yeah getting back on pretty much a whole foods plant-based diet i'm gonna go back in my house in a second and show you what i'm gonna be making for my first meal of the day so what i'm showing you now is the superfoods the protein powder powders, a couple of supplements that I add to the smoothie. I'm going to weigh it all out, which I do every single day. And what I'm going to do is, for every single different thing that I'm using, I'm going to put the total carbs and protein in this smoothie recipe that I'm going to be making. I always add a tablespoon of organic cacao. The reason why I add this is because it is a very nutrient powerhouse ingredient that you can add to your smoothies. And it also gives you a natural boost of energy about the stimulating effects unlike what you would get from coffee and it also has an abundance of antioxidants so yeah I'm adding protein rich things but I also add a lot of other different things to give my body the most micronutrient rich smoothie with a high protein content at the same time. The next ingredient is this unrefined Redmond sea salt. It is one of the most highest quality salts that you can get in the world and it has an abundance of naturally occurring trace minerals with in it and when you're training and sweating you're sweating out a lot of sodium so someone like myself that works out i need a lot more than someone that isn't sweating a lot and isn't working out and i use around a gram of that and add everything to this bowl because when i'm blending and it's got that whirlpool going on i drop it all in so it doesn't stick to the sides rather than put it in and then start blending because it would just stick everywhere and that's just not good at all and the main protein source that i'm using is this clean machines lentine protein powder that is vanilla chai flavor and what i do is i put a discount code for 20 percent and actually doing a special offer just for this month at the moment buy one get one free and you can get 20 percent off discount and this tastes really really nice when you look at it you think it's probably not going to taste that nice because it's a deep dark green color because the lentine in it is a green color it has a very very nice vanilla chai flavor it hasn't got like a grassy horrible green bitter taste to it it tastes really 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 appealing to me and i add one scoop of that and then what i do is to bump the protein content up is I had this hemp yeah max protein powder that is just literally organic hemp protein concentrate with natural oregano extract and I add around 20 grams of this and this is another very high quality protein powder that is a very very good source of omega-3 as well and it's just a very very healthy easy to digest protein powder just like a clean machine they're actually proven that it has a high digestibility and it's very easy to assimilate unlike a lot of the protein powders out there on the market next up we've got spirulina it's like the highest protein content food source in the world that's the main reason why i add it i add around 10 grams of this to really boost up the protein intake and it has a very good content of essential fatty acids such as epa and dha and an abundance of of micronutrients and antioxidants. So again, it's a very, very nutrient rich powerhouse. And a lot of people just make the smoothies in a way just to get protein, but for me, I want a smoothie that is gonna help optimize my health mentally and physically, holistically at the same time. So yeah, if you're someone that doesn't care about that, you could just add the protein sources and whatever fruit or whatever else you wanna add, but that's just not what I'm going for. Now I'm adding five grams of creatine and I don't cycle this. I take it every single day all year round. If you haven't seen my 30 day transformation video where I gain a lot of weight, it was one of my first videos, not very good video, but 
If you haven't seen that, you can click it up above, but it's definitely the best weight gain supplement by far that I've ever tried. And there's a lot out there that just a marketing gimmick and just a hype and they don't actually do anything. But creatine is one of the most researched supplements out there that has so much scientific evidence to back up the claims that companies make. And then I add 1.2 grams, roughly, of magnesium malate, which there are different forms of magnesium. Magnesium malate is the type of magnesium to optimize your energy levels because it is key for giving you optimal mitochondria function, ATP, and the Krebs cycle, which are all things that are key for giving you an abundance of energy. That's pretty much all the powders added. And I'm going to be adding iodine, which is an essential mineral that is key for optimal thyroid health and just hormone production. And it has a whole host of amazing different benefits as well. So now we're going to move on next to the actual whole food ingredients in the liquid as well. So what I first do is add this 137 degrees walnut milk. It's got no preservative additives, no sugar or anything like that. I add 360 milliliters. So that's that ingredient, all done. Then I add 150 grams roughly of blueberries. Later in the void. And I add the blueberries because they add a nice taste and because they're frozen, when I start to blend the smoothie and it's finished, it won't be warm. I don't like warm or room temperature smoothie. I like it to be slightly Cool. Then I add these lovely, lovely dates. They're super high calorie. They add a very good amount of sweetness to it because I love a nice high carb, sweet tasting smoothie. And for this one, I add 44 grams. And I always make sure, obviously, to take the seeds out. Sometimes I've got to do that and it gets blended up, but that's not good. And then I get the iodine. I literally add a couple of drops, which gives me around 12.5 milligrams of iodine. And then last but not least, bananas. I add 450 grams of these there in the fridge, so it makes it cool, again, alongside the blueberries. And yeah, I always just make sure that I take off any of the black parts. So yeah, I'm gonna peel these and put them in there. everything done I just need to blend it now and yeah I always use ceramic knives they're really sharp and I've been into these for years so you've got to be careful with them but when you cut produce it stops it from oxidizing so it's going to taste way more flavorful so I absolutely love these what you're going to notice is I blend without a lid I always blend without a lid all you do is you make sure you have it on the lowest setting and then once it's going you can turn up the speed slowly to the max speed because if you just turn it on max speed straight away and pulse it it's just going to oh, I've done that before in the past but yeah I do that because then I can pour the smoothie ingredients in the powdered ones so yeah let's make sure it's on the lowest one that'd be quite funny if it wasn't wouldn't it Oh, I actually pressed some pulse then. <laughs> so that's just gone a little bit over me. Only a little bit. It's because I'm doing it back to front. So that was quite funny. Hopefully it humoured you. And that's that done. So now let's enjoy. And man, I'm really hungry because I had to set up the lights, do different camera angles and everything. From the first clip, it's taken me around an hour to get to this point. So I'm almost 18 hours into fasting now. So let's try it. Mm. And yeah, as you can see, it's very green, but it tastes so good. The vanilla chai flavor from that clean machine protein powder. Wow. And I always chew my smoothies. Always done this. You should always chew your food and drink your liquid. Yes, it is a liquid, but it's still food that's been broken up. And chewing actually stimulates saliva, which contains certain enzymes to break carbohydrates down. So digestion starts in the mouth. So always make sure that you chew your smoothies thoroughly. The app, my fast, that's how I know that I've fasted for almost 18 hours. And what I almost pretty much do every time I'm eating is just watch some YouTube videos where it's on calisthenics or something else that I'm interested in. And yeah, I did all my work earlier on this morning. I didn't show you, I'll talk about it earlier on. It's not very fun for you to see. I uploaded some videos, did some video work, done online admin work, various things. So yeah, I'm gonna get on and enjoy this movie in peace while I watch some YouTube content. The same that I always take my smoothie, I mentioned this in videos before, is I take a multi-nutrient supplement. This is the AM bottle of the Thorn Research Sports Certified Multi-Nutrient Supplement. It's the best one in the world. It's not the cheapest, but you get what you pay for. And then 
Also, I'm taking I3C indenol 3 carbonyl, which I talked about this in videos before. It blocks estrogen within the body and gets rid of excess estrogen damaging metabolites, which actually lower testosterone, which so many people are coming into contact with forms of estrogen known as any estrogen that is within plastic bottles of water, for example, if you have microwave meals or anything else in plastic, a lot of time you're getting that into your body and then, then your estrogen levels go up, testosterone levels go down. So this is why I take this to optimize hormone production. So that's pretty much all all of it done what I do is at the end is always add a little bit of this swish it around because it's quite a thick smoothie so there's still quite a bit left in the bottom and swish it around and drink it down so I'm gonna drink that and then I'm gonna start editing parts of this vlog so it's ready for later on and then I'm gonna see what the rest of the day brings I actually set up an event for people to meet up at 4 p.m. on the beach eat fruit and stuff so I need to actually hurry up because when I'm vlogging it adds so much additional time onto everything that you do which I don't mind but yeah I need to be on point with doing exactly what I need to do to get everything done within a day. That's enough video editing for me. I'm feeling that I need to get out of the house. It gets like that after a while to be on digital devices. I've been on it for like most of the day and it's now like half one. I'm going to go out and get a glass Tupperware container because I need another one because I need to take my food out of me later and I'm already using the other ones for bananas that are in the freezer. My scooter, I love my scooter. It's a 150 ILCC in the black and red colour scheme. It's a 2019 model. It's a Honda Click GSP. She is absolutely beautiful and i bought this a few months ago because i just kept spending for like almost the last four years around three thousand three thousand five hundred baht a month and i worked out that the amount of spending a month it would pay for a scooter in two years so i thought why not buy a really nice a brand new scooter such as this one which cost me around sixty five thousand baht put the conversion in usd but yeah she is a dream so yeah i'm gonna get on my way on this lovely black beauty as i call her i'm actually using my iphone x S now because I just went to use my camera this one and if you look here this is now wobbling and one of the screws just fell out then which is not good <laughs> that was not meant to happen that is a fail I don't know where the screw went I can't find it I look it on the floor but it's such a small screw but yeah get one of these glass Tupperware obviously it's got a plastic lid but if you're putting hot things like I will be later with my cooked food in a plastic container it's leaching out all the donations and other plastic substances that mess up your health mentally and physically so that is why I buy these I'm gonna get on my way not lose any more screws from my camera that's on the floor and go and get that sorted out quickly after searching around i found this hardware store because i live on an island go Yang, thailand there's not loads of places here i had to buy a whole set of screwdrivers to tighten all of the loose screws the screw i lost i didn't find it this shop didn't have replacement screws it seems to be fine even though i've lost one i've tightened all the rest and it's all good and we decide where we're gonna go from here we got a friendly cat look <laughs> Driving along and look who we found on the side of the road. Monkey chowing down on bananas. Wait. <laughs> he thinks the mic, which is furry, is an animal. That's why he just comes from here. So I'm today. <laughs> they look, there's ones there as well. They're cheeky, you gotta be careful of them. And that one's got a baby under it as well. Hanging off the line. As you can see, up there. <laughs> See, I thought I'd just come for a drive and I knew they'd be around here somewhere and I thought I'd show you because I thought you might find that pretty cool. I am now in Hadrin, which is known as the party side of the island, which is obviously of no interest to me. And it just feels so good for just go for a random drive and not have anything planned whatsoever. I was feeling a bit stressed out from working indoors, but now I feel completely de-stressed, which is really good. And now I'm at Hadrin Beach. We're gonna check out this beach and see how it is.
really nice beach actually doesn't look like there's other rocks or sea really in the water and something like to share with you is i do not like being center of attention especially like a moment ago i get the drone and like so many people are looking at me when it's driving off when it's coming back and it just makes me feel really nervous and uncomfortable i don't stop doing what i'm doing if i start to feel like that i just forget about it and just move on a lot of people when i tell them that people that i meet they're like what but you're on camera but just speaking to a camera it's not a person it's not judging me or anything like that <laughs> yeah it's just one of those uncomfortable things where you just have to feel uncomfortable and just deal with it yeah. really strange thing about this one is though this section they've like put this thing all the way around can you see that so you have to know what you're going to pass that no idea why. Really strange. Yeah, let's get out of this water. We pretend we didn't see that sign, but look at this place. I'll quickly show you. Doesn't this look really cool? Look at that architecture. It looks beautiful. It's just wow. Really, really, really cool. Can't beat some amazing architecture. I got a first world issue going on, and that is it's four hours later, and I still feel so full from that smoothie. So I've gone to go and start cooking, and like the thought of even looking at food is like no no not at all so it doesn't look like i will be cooking food today and i don't feel that i would want to eat for the rest of the day and i've been finding with my smoothie just recently that since after i got ill because i'm not training really intensely it's actually feeling a little bit too much for me so yeah it just makes you stay full for so long where it feels like i could just do one meal a day on that and what i'm laying on at the moment is an acupressure mat i've been into these for years and i just absolutely love them and if you actually lift up like that or have it like that is way 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 more intense and i find that it's just really good for releasing any tension in my back muscles and it just de-stresses me and calms me down and just makes you feel very serene which is very good when you're very very busy and you just need to unwind a bit i'm this for a bit longer and then i'm gonna bust a groove to the beach. So I arrived in Siri Thanu at Sen Beach now and this area of Koh Phangan is where all the people that are into Tantra and you can say that very spiritual and esoteric and people that want to do a lot of inner healing and inner work and other different things based around those things this is the area to be. It's a lot more chilled out, it's where the most vegan restaurants are and I thought I'd show you this lovely dog. This dog lives right near the beach, it's not a street dog and she is beautiful. This is like one of my favourite breeds breeds of dogs and she's so friendly and calm sometimes she come up to me when she walk along the beach and lick my face and just be close to me yeah she is a beauty one day i'll get a dog like this no one turned up to the event i did it's normally on on a regular basis but people stop setting up the event so i thought whoa <laughs> i fell down that then that i'd set it up but i did it yesterday so it's a bit late notice but oh well that's cool and someone saw me from youtube so that's cool we just interacted and connected and she talked about loads of different things apart from that just been laying there still listening to some music by muse i love muse especially the album origins of symmetry and the view is pretty damn good loads of people were turned up there was pretty much no one on the beach but now there is loads of people on the beach as you can see here there's some people playing around with what i would call keeping up as you can see there really really good a lot of people come to this beach at night time and get together it's really cool and then you always get a load of people playing instruments just jamming together someone with a hang drum which is really really cool calm relaxing time now leaving the beach because it's getting closer to my bedtime and yeah i feel that i could eat some food now i'm gonna go and eat thai food because like i said i don't want any junk food we're gonna get a move on go and get some food 
Whoa, bright, bright, bright. I was gonna get a vegan protein shake, but they haven't got the plain one, and they got the chocolate one, and it's just like so strong with chocolate, and I'm not into that, it's like dark, dark chocolate. So yeah, we're gonna give that a miss. And I was gonna get it because I wanted some additional protein. Okay, we're gonna go over and get the Thai food. We're just gonna have the Thai food afterwards anyway, but yeah, it's fast. There's normally a vegan store over there that sells like higher protein things, but it's not there. So both of the protein sources are gonna get not there. So oh well. So instead, come to this store only. Soul Organic, which they pretty much grow all the produce that they sell, that they make the food from. As you can see here, Tom Yum Soup, papaya salad, all a rare different things. And they've got a whole book full of stuff as well. But yeah, I ordered Massaman, one rice, and a pad thai. on top of the pad thai, 30 grams of hemp seeds divided among the massa man and this to give me 10 grams of protein. This has got some tofu in, that give me some protein, that has got tofu in. So probably around 35 grams of protein in this meal and I am looking forward to it. And yeah, I'm gonna put the time when I'm eating and you're gonna see how long the gap was in between the last meal. And the reason why it was so fitting for so long is that green lentine, clean machine protein powder. Before I was using that, I was staying nowhere near as full for that like long period of time really 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 amazing that it keeps you full for that long i'm gonna dig in and enjoy the food The brilliant thing, you may have noticed, there's no oil. Most places you go and get Thai food, they use so much really bad oil, like palm oil, sunflower oil, which is so bad for you. It messes up hormone reduction and it just causes inflammation. And yeah, this mass man has like broccoli in it, tofu, no coconut milk, peanuts in it, has a very strong peanut taste, and it's quite a thick sauce, really flavorful, really tasty, really enjoyable. Oh, and there's white potato in here. Mass man, dumb. Rice. Up. Now on to the pad thai. I'm not actually that hungry, so I might not end up eating all of this. Like the least oiliest pad thai you could probably get in Thailand, which is super, super good. That's it, I'm done. I left that amount, so I still at around a thousand calories. What I do is at the end right now is show you roughly the amount of calories and protein that I've had for the whole day and the time that I finished eating all of that. It's gone now. I'll take the rest of that home and eat the rest of it tomorrow. But yeah, I made a mistake there. I've been eating a lot of junk food recently, it's very stimulating. And the mass man is way more flavorful than the pad thai. So even when I started eating it, I was like, oh, I don't want this, so it's hard to push through. And yeah, I had the Elite PM, as always, three of those and the vegan EPA and DHA. We're gonna call it day there. I'm gonna get a move on, get home, so I need to go to bed soon. Catch you in a bit. Don't forget to like the video, share, and subscribe to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those games. Peace.